Hello there and welcome back to another session with your friendly neighborhood psychologist and coach Dr. Asad Chaturvedi. Today we're going to talk about a concept called soulmates. So do you have a soulmate? I can imagine a lot of you rolling your eyes or looking at your spouse, partner, a politically correct term. But before you draw any premature conclusions, please listen on. A soulmate need not necessarily come from your immediate or extended family and need not necessarily be your spouse or partner. The relationship that I am talking about goes way beyond the framework that most of you are thinking about now. To begin with, let us define a soulmate. This is a person with whom you can be yourself without any of your masks on. You can talk about anything under the sun. You can be completely open with you can discuss any topic without hesitation or embarrassment and the person who does not judge you but accepts you the way you are, who gives you advice when you need it and to whom you generally listen to, knowing fully well that the person has no vested interests at all. Most importantly, there is no limiting criteria as age, sex, religion, etc. The person can be older or younger of the same or opposite sex, belong to another religion or your religion. It really doesn't matter at all. All that matters is the connect. I know, I know, the reactions in your head must be starting with, I must be joking, such people do not exist, etc, etc, etc. Well, frankly, guys, you're wrong. They do exist. I have not one, but three soulmates, and I believe that I am a soulmate to more people than you can count on your fingers. How can that happen, you may ask? Well, for starters, you first need to get out of your silos and look to make the right kind of acquaintances. You also need to try and turn yourself into someone's soulmate because as the old adage goes, you attract the kind of people in your life that you generally are yourself. It isn't that difficult to do and neither is it difficult to find such people for yourself. It just needs you to tune your antenna in the right direction. It's something that you must do to cleanse your soul and spirit and it helps you connect with everyone in your life at a much richer emotional quotient level than you have ever done till date. Your life will be enriched due to the abundance of connect and soul cleansing that happens on this account and you will be able to deal with all your challenges in an effective and positive manner. I would encourage all of you to go on and try this, get out there and start looking for people of this positive mindset and nature and you will definitely find what you seek. In every religion in the world, it is commonly quoted that if one searches hard enough, then one can find God. How much more difficult could it be or easy could it be to find a soulmate? So I'm just asking you to find another human being to connect with on a level deeper than you have ever done before. You try, you succeed, you begin to build the connect, you begin to talk about topics which are of your interest, you begin to see reactions, you begin to understand whether the reactions are positive, negative, are something which you agree with, you basically begin to build a bridge between you and that soulmate and you basically begin to become a soulmate for them as well. So go on out there, try this, look for people and I'm sure you will succeed. I hope this helps. God bless till we meet again.